Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. As you guys can probably tell from the title, we're going to be doing a bit of a follow-up to my retrospective video that I made on Bonzi Buddy a couple of days ago on this channel. Now, if you guys haven't seen that video and if you want to kind of learn more about what Bonzi Buddy was, how it came to be, uh, I'd recommend that you go and check out that video. I do a full uh, in-depth look at the history of this program, but chances are if you're watching this video, you probably already know exactly what Bonzi Buddy is. So we're going to go ahead and just get right into the point of this video, and that is we're going to be trying to run Bonzi Buddy on Windows 10 and seeing how it works, uh, if it even works at all. What we have here is a custom-made executable. You can see I've got it opened up here, and this actually comes from one of the websites out there that still hosts Bonzi Buddy today that you can actually still go and download this software from. And the reason why it's called Bonzi Buddy 432 is because, as it is explained right here, this setup will install all three main versions of Bonzi Buddy version 2, 3.5, and 4.0. And right here, since we don't have Microsoft Agent installed, it's going to automatically install that for us. So we have to uh, accept that license agreement. And it looks like Microsoft Agent installed successfully. We also have to install this additional software right here. So we'll click on yes. And we're going to uncheck uh, visit product web. Website. So we can go ahead and click on finish. Now I actually used this same executable to install these three versions of Bonzi Buddy uh, under a Windows XP VM to actually capture footage for that retrospective video that I mentioned before. And I was actually able to run multiple versions at the same time, as you guys could probably see from some of the clips in that video. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and actually just start off with Bonzi Buddy 2. This is the one that uh, utilizes PD the Parrot. And you can see that it starts off immediately with an unexpected error and it says quitting. So it actually does not open up so we're going to resort to well, let's actually see if we can run it as an administrator uh, and you can see that actually fixed the problem so we do have P to the parrot here hello there I don't believe we've been properly introduced I'm PD so PD's going to start talking here. Now, you may notice that uh, everything is not really displaying correctly. He's got this uh, blue box around him, so it's not uh, like he doesn't have a transparent background. All right, so a bit of a change in scenery here, as you can see. What I actually did is I uh, installed a fresh copy of Windows 10 because I thought the reason why we were getting this uh, blue background effect was because uh, I did install the IBM Workplace shell in that original VM, which did actually mess with, uh, you know, some of the colors and the way that you know certain colors would be displayed on windows however i just discovered that if you set the compatibility mode to windows 98 slash windows me and obviously choose run this program as an administrator it will actually fix the problem so you can see here if i run the executable now and click on yes here you'll notice that now uh that blue box around pd is gone I will automatically register you. Okay, I just had to like mute him because oh my gosh, every time I started trying to talk, he started like, you know, saying something. But uh, so this deal with the uh, online registration wizard here, like the fact that it's got all of uh, these like random characters just populated in here actually has nothing to do with the fact that it's running under Windows 10. It did the same thing under Windows XP when I ran it. But yeah, when you actually right click on them, you can see that the context menu, if you try to click like on the desktop to get rid of it it actually will not go away uh yeah so all of the i mean i don't see why all these functions wouldn't work normally i mean we can let's say tell a joke a joke sure I yeah so we'll just go ahead and uh, mute him here so he doesn't you know blabber on but yeah so it, it does actually work we can go to speak here uh let's try to have him do my intro Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So the context menu appears to just, when you actually right click on them, it just stays up uh, until you actually click on an option in here to uh, get rid of uh, that context menu. But as for the functionality of the program, you know, he, he does work. All the animations are here. That blue box is gone, as you can see. And everything in the context menu, from what I can tell, uh, actually works. I mean, obviously, just like if you were to install this under Windows 98, you're not going to be able to do any of the uh, like network related stuff. You're not going to be able to have him register himself. You're not going to be able to get updates through the program because, again, the update servers don't exist anymore. Uh, but it is pretty awesome that it actually still works. So we can go ahead and actually keep him up here. And I see, again, I, I cannot get rid of this context menu here. So let's go ahead and just choose my wallet and see it actually comes back up here. So we'll click on my home. I don't know what the my home thing. And actually, this is not going away now. Check that out. 
Uh, so we can, I guess we can hit closer, so you cannot hit the X. Now, he actually just disappeared. I don't know, okay, he just kind of went up off the screen there. Uh, but one thing that I did in the original video is I actually ran multiple versions of Bonzi Buddy at the same time. So we're going to actually try to run uh, Bonzi Buddy 3. And you can see that this version actually comes up with the same error message that uh, this version did uh, when we tried to run it without administrative privileges. So the older version of Bonzi Buddy here is actually trying to connect to the internet. Obviously, it's not going to be able to do this, so we will say no. Um, but we are going to actually try to run Bonzi Buddy 3 here as an admin. So you can see that this one here, actually, all we have to do is run it as an administrator. We don't have to run it in the Windows 98 compatibility mode to actually get him to display properly. Let's see if, if he's actually speaking correctly. Which it looks like all the sounds are coming through. Let's go ahead and move him around see if he says something which he should okay well he is let's go ahead and just close out of the registration wizard here we'll click okay okay yeah so this version of bonzi buddy does have this like bonzi world uh menu interface here which pretty much replaces the uh right click context menu so if i were to close out of this and i go to him and right click on him you'll see that this menu just comes up so this kind of uh replaces most of the functionality from uh this version right here you can see he is still talking so both of these are running at the same time but yeah i believe that this version it's either this version or bonzi buddy 4 that actually comes with a bunch of add-ons because bonzi software did actually sell certain add-ons for bonzi buddy that you could get and you can see we've got all of these installed here so i believe that some of these might have actually not come with the program uh so like the download manager for instance this is a download manager that they had so let's also, actually you can always continue to browse and enjoy the internet while I... so let's actually try this out i went ahead and connected the machine uh back to the internet and we're going to go ahead and choose integrate download manager with internet explorer and see uh if that actually works so we'll see if we can run uh, I explore here now we got this message right here as soon as I opened Internet Explorer and it actually says would you like me to automatically handle your internet downloads for you so the reason why there's nothing here uh, aside from a comma is because I didn't actually fill out the registration wizard so there's no name that he's going to refer to me as so we're just gonna say yes we're gonna actually have this Bonzi download manager uh, manage all of our downloads for us so we'll see if that actually works so it looks like it's gonna come up with the standard uh, Internet Explorer download prompt we're going to just save this as uh, let's do Firefox installer. Let's save it to the desktop and press save. So it's going to go ahead and download. It looks like it downloaded successfully and the download manager has not actually done uh, anything. So, although it looks like it's actually... Well, it's actually like... I mean, it's not frozen, but I can't actually click on any of these menus up here. Uh, the have fun button still works. We can click add. I guess you have to add, oh, so we have to actually just type in the file URL manually, I guess. So let's go ahead and do that maybe. Let's go copy shortcut, we'll paste it in here. And actually that's not really gonna, <laughs> that does not link you know directly to an exe file. So we'll click save. Uh, and then it doesn't actually show up here, but we do have this download button. Okay, so see monkey here, this download link actually uh, links directly to an exe file. So let's see if we can click on add. We'll add this URL, press OK. We still don't get anything showing up in the list here, but can we click on download? And is he gonna say something? Well, he's got this speech bubble above his head, but he's not actually saying anything. Maybe we just need to restart here because it seems like this program is kind of uh, glitching out. I mean, you can see like we, oh, now we can click on the menu bar. All right, let's just click on exit here. For some reason he's, oh yeah, he's like totally frozen here. Okay, maybe not, maybe he unfroze. So let's go back to the download manager here. Let's click on, uh, so it, I think it's actually still in the list. As we see when I click download it, it actually says downloading file, and that's actually from Firefox. I don't know where it's saving it to though. All right, let's say prompt for a file name before downloading. Okay, so now it's gonna come up with a save file as dialog. We'll go ahead and mute him there. We'll save it to the desktop. Now you see there's no file type uh, there's actually nothing that we can even select. So let's just save this as test. I don't know what it's actually going, like what file uh, extension it's going to use. Um, so that actually did not download at, oh, it, it actually did, but you can see it's not actually, yeah, it's only 312 kilobytes. It's, oh, but it, it is actually signed by Mozilla. Is this actually the exe file? 
wow that actually worked okay so it did actually download the file it just didn't know that it was an exe file because uh the firefox download page does not link directly to um you know the exe file so we're gonna go ahead and actually remove it here now again i can't actually see what i'm removing so we just removed the two uh links there so let's actually add the c monkey executable once again and since this actually links directly to a .exe file we'll see if by clicking on download it'll actually come up and it okay it still does the same thing so it doesn't actually have the file type uh, specified there so we'll click on save it's downloading right now you can see it's even got the .exe extension there and that actually I'm did keep okay thanks so um it looks like it actually kept the exe yeah so it, it did actually automatically keep the exe extension so yes the download manager actually works i mean at least somewhat it obviously does not integrate into internet explorer uh, but we can just manually add uh, files to download through this uh, menu here but they don't actually show up in this list they are in the list because we can click on remove and click yes and it will actually remove the file uh, but we can't actually see anything in here so that's unfortunate but the download manager itself does technically still work all right so i think i may have actually discovered something that makes bonzi buddy crash and that is actually this play video and audio uh, link right here if we click this you'll see it will come up with a runtime error we'll click on ok and the program will immediately crash so we can run two versions of bonzi buddy at the same time let's try to run three of them so let's go to bonzi buddy 4 here it's probably not going to work yep it's just going to give that unexpected error without uh, running this as an administrator so we'll go ahead and put this into uh let's go ahead and put it into windows 98 compatibility mode we'll also run it as an administrator and we'll go ahead and try to run this executable and we'll see if it actually launches here so bonzi buddy 4.0 here actually comes up with this error reading file 70 permission denied bonzi buddy 4 is running in the task manager here but it actually does not come up so we can actually end the process let's try to run it again here so you actually run this and you'll notice that right after we did that this version just said good morning like he was being launched for the first time so i wonder if it's actually conflicting with the older version of the program here uh, since they are based on the same agent character that could definitely be what's happening but let's go ahead and actually uh, kill all these processes so let's kill 2.0 uh, 3.5 and 4.0 let's go ahead and run bonzi buddy 4.0 first here and you'll see by doing that we actually get uh, the program to launch so let's try to launch bonzi buddy 3.5 and you'll see that that actually does not launch but it does open up the registration card although that could have just been this program launching it for us because we haven't filled it out um so that's interesting so both of them are running we'll go ahead and kill let's go ahead and actually kill 4.0 let's kill 4.0 and see uh, if so yeah he actually does stay up here we ran 4.0 to actually launch the agent character and you can see by killing 4.0 and having 3.5 running it actually uh, like the agent character here still actually stays up uh, so it's probably because that since 3.5 and 4.0 use the same agent character which is the purple gorilla here you, you cannot actually run two instances of it at the same time and you literally just saw that we killed 4.0 with 3.5 running and the agent character not only stayed open uh, but also 3.5 basically like took over the functionality of the agent character if you will because we can launch bonzi world we can say tell an amazing fact and the agent character will actually respond at least he just did let's say tell a joke and yeah so he will actually respond to that uh, so that's actually very very interesting so we can actually run 2.0 here and we can run 2.0 and that's going to work just fine but this is obviously based off of a different agent character so that's why uh, we're able to run both of these at the same time so there you have it guys to answer the question can you actually run bonzi buddy on windows 10 here in 2020 uh, well, the answer is yes, and you can see from this demo here that not only were we able to get the programs to launch, we were able to run two versions simultaneously 
uh, on Windows 10 here. We were also able to utilize uh, some of the additional functionality like the download manager. Although it didn't work 100% correctly, we weren't able to obviously see the files in that list. We were not able to get it to integrate into Internet Explorer, uh, but we were actually able to download files through it. And uh, for most of the actual like speech parts of the program, like you know telling jokes, telling uh, amazing facts, as it says right here, and even actually typing things out for the program to say, all of that actually worked, uh, which is pretty cool. So guys, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to so get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times per week here on this channel. And as always, guys, I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.